Hey, good afternoon. Michael Map here, bringing you a post market update on what's going on in the market and what kind of trades I did out there today. Um, we had the Dow Jones down just a smidge, 38 points. SP down 17, NASDAQ down 103. Um, small caps down 13. Actually, the VIX was down. We'll take a look at the futures. The futures are still open to 5 p.m. Um, look at so stocks fall as fear of recession weighs on investors. Dow snaps for win day win streak. The Fed expects banking crisis to cause a recession this year. The minutes show. Uh, let's see what else. Warren Buffett says we're not through with the bank failures. And he, I watched him a little bit this morning. He he, he kind of didn't want to admit about all the problems. Uh, he he, he kind of dodged the questions if, if if you watch the interview. I try and watch it again, but it seemed like he, he didn't want to answer about inflation and what, what's the right thing to do, etc. cetera. Um, obviously, the, the Fed raising rates is causing banks to break, and this was causing the banking crisis because the banks put their eggs in the long uh, in the long end of the yield curve, and the front end is has exploded in in, in yield and rates increasing, and it's hurt the banks. So my house, I refinanced and I got lucky, and I got it at two nine, two point nine. So that bank holding that paper at two nine, you know, it's it's not good for them. It's not not a good thing. So the the guys that got in at two nine are the winners. If you can borrow money in this environment at two nine, you're a winner, and that's the way you gotta look at it. Right now, it's hard. Um, you, you try auto loans are through the roof. I think I think on a twenty thousand dollar car, your with decent credit, your payment might be like five hundred bucks. I think more or less, um, and uh, that's that's crazy. Before it used to be you can get a car. 300 bucks, two, 250 bucks, it's 500 more or less from what I'm hearing from people in the street uh, and dealers that I talk to. See what else was on the headlines. So we were waiting for that and the market did pull back. Um, let's see, Ethan did slightly ahead of Shanghai upgrade. Uh, Trump, I don't know what else. Rent. The wrong way to lose the narrows company is close to profitability. I think they're probably traded. Inflation cools in March. Now, one of the gauges that goes in inflation is used car prices. And used car prices have gone up the last four months. I don't know how laggy that indicator, that, that report is, but the used car prices have gone up. I do expect them to, to keep falling now here coming in. In the next couple of months, I think I think we'll see a pullback in car prices. Um, see what else is here in the headlines. Egg prices crash 11 percent. Interesting. You could play cow main for eggs. C A L C A L M. Um, Okay, so actually today I did, so on one account, it won't pull up here, so I'm looking at my phone. One account, I was up, even though the market was down, I was up half a percent. Better than, better than that being red, all the indexes were red. I was up half a percent in one account, and in the Tasty Trade account, I was up 7%. Hey, I'll take it. I didn't lose today. Um, and we can look at some, uh, well, here, let's take a look at the futures. Now that I'm in the thinkorswim platform. So the Dixie fell off a cliff to 101.50, basically. 10 years down, three bits to 340. Hogs can't get out of its way uh, in that range. Uh, cattle, very strong. Um, I have Tyson Foods. I don't know what Tyson Foods did today. Down 47 cents on Tyson food. I picked up Tyson under 60, uh, up 237. 
down 47 bucks on the day. Um, and this I kind of had six trades today. But let's finish with the futures and then we'll go to the, the, what I saw out there. Uh, foreign currencies obviously are going to be up as the dollar's down. Small caps down 15 currently. All foreign currencies up. Bitcoin down to 30k more or less. Oil, nice explosive move to the upside. I've been telling you that oil is going to go up and you want to be in commodities. Gold is up. Um, and I think silver had a nice day. Silver had a nice day today of 45 cents. And we're soon appro approaching $26. And I mean, I think silver is just a great, great asset to own. And I would be buying Eagles, American Eagles at Apex. Um, Ether up 18 bucks to 1922. Copper up to 406. NASDAQ down 120. Dow Jones down 69. We'll talk about the CNBC. Net gas just did not, doesn't pick up a bit. I did pick up some more UNG today, and I will continue to. VIX actually got, we got green on the VIX up over 20 right now. Grains, I need to do more research on the grains. They've just been trading sideways pretty much, up a little bit here and there. I need to get into that that uh those reports those ag reports i think the was the the world agricultural uh let me see what it stands for was the report i think it came out today world agriculture supply and demand demand estimates i think it came i'm pretty sure it came out today uh it was a day ago so i need to dig into that a little bit um go back over here we talked about, let's take a look at what the rates did on the CNBC. Let's see, go over here, go to markets, and let's go to bonds. So most of the most of the interest rates were down today. 10 year down three, seven year down six bips, five year down eight bips, three year down 10 bips, two year down nine bips, one year down four bips. So everything was down except the long end. Um, on the interest rates and that pretty much these are just correlated uh, ETFs that I look at we go through them Arc Innovation by Kathy Wood down a dollar you, you want to laugh look at this chart on Arc put up the one year one year. One fifty nine it hit. And it's at thirty seven. Crazy. That's Kathy Woods, the genius. Gold GDX and GDX J all up. Uh, K Web was down. That's the uh, China. A lot of Chinese China names were down big today. They noticed that Baba, JD, Pindudu, they were down pretty good. Uh, USO up. XOP Energy ETF down. Uh, don't want to make this video too long. Let's see how much time I'm in here. Oh, my little thumb. How do I hide this? Whatever. I'll just stop it when I stop it. Okay, so trade wise, I had six fills in this account. I closed Rambus. Uh, I had an iron. Uh, what did I have in here? Yeah, I had an iron fly in Rambus. Closed that. Added more UNG. Added more K Web since they were down. Closed a call calendar in SOX S, which is a chip chip uh, ETF. BXP closed this iron fly for 25% profit, and I opened an iron fly in CDS. They have earnings soon, but they have pretty high V. That's what I did in this account. Up half a percent in this account. Uh, some of my biggest winners that I continue to hold: XOP Energy, Beetle, Bitcoin. XLE Energy, Tyson Foods, 
Ether, Mara, and the rest are just small, small holdings, nothing big that I've been adding. Um, in the tasty trade, up 7% in this account today. Uh, let's take a look at the activities. Uh, we're going to go today, and we're going to go to uh, these expired. How do I do this? Here we go. So I had today in here all these fills. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven fills. So between both accounts, at about seventeen fills. We need this VIX higher. No, not not happy with the VIX. So I did a a call candle spread in INMD small trade. I did an iron fly in First Republic Bank. Did an iron fly in Dish. Closed out Ozark Bank for about 25% profit. Filled a broken wing butterfly to the put side on Avis. Did an iron fly on Peloton. Did a calendar spread in Baba and JD to the upside uh, on the call side. Did a calendar, call calendar sp spread in American Airlines. Did an iron fly in AMC and closed half burrows iron fly for 25%. And that was my trading day um, today in the markets. Got a good 17 fills. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 17 fills. 11 and 6. Um, I was scanning all day and that's pretty much all I can see. Was scanning and scanning, and that's all I could put together today was was 17. Another good day for Micro Map. I'll continue to do um, those YouTube shorts, which have been good. Maybe I'll do them on quick strategies. I can only do them for a minute, so these are for the ones that really want to listen to in-depth um, analysis on what I saw out there in the trades and uh, trends. But anyway, stay safe. Maybe I'll do another video and do some more shorts. I'm keeping the hustle going. Stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.